Welcome back and thank you for joining. Today we are taking on a quick single afternoon DIY holiday stocking project, so let's go. First, choose your leather. A supple chrome tan is ideal, ranging from 3 to 4 ounces. Deer skins and suede can be a great option as well. Add veg tan appliques to make your project extra unique, or you can add hair on hides like sheep or rabbit to add some extra flair. Now let's grab our tools. This project is pretty simple, so grab your leather scissors, adhesive, stitching chisels and pounder board, mallet, sewing tools, pattern, and we're on our way. Trace your pattern. You will need to cut two separate pieces. Mirror these pieces so they fit together correctly by tracing the pattern once, flipping it over, and tracing again. Cut your stocking pieces out with heavy duty leather scissors. It is important to use leather specific scissors as the edge is beveled specifically to cut through the fibers of the hide. Optionally, you can add decoration. Decorative stitching or rivets, appliques, paints, and so much more can take your project to the next level. Adhere your pieces together with double-sided tape or contact cement. I use tape here to cut down on fumes, but options like EcoFlow water-based contact cement can be a great option too when working with kids or in tight spaces. Pro tip, you can place your pieces right sides together, resulting in an exposed stitch line like you see here, or sew them wrong sides together, sew and flip it inside out and hide your stitch line. Try them both and let us know which you prefer. Mark your stitch line. Using a wing divider, awl, or stitching ruler, set the stitch line in approximately eight to a quarter of an inch and mark around the stocking, except for the top, of course. Now punch your stitches. Using whatever size stitch you prefer, start punching through all the way around. And let's sew. Using a saddle stitch, start sewing around your stocking. If you're new to leather or need a refresher, Check out our Tandy Skills video on how to saddle stitch right over here. Pro tip, if you don't like splicing or dealing with excessive amounts of thread, start sewing in the middle of the toe in one direction, when complete, come back and sew in the other direction. Pro tip, soft leathers tend to bunch when hand sewn. Instead of cranking down on your stitches, hold the leather firmly between two hands and pull the working thread forward and wash them clean right up and make sure to backstitch for added durability and long time use. Trim the edges with scissors to clean up any odd spots and your stocking is complete. Tag us on social media to show us the beautiful designs you come up with and check our blog for additional projects and extra inspiration. And as always, Happy crafting.